Welcome back to another episode of the High Alpha 2 Show. I'm your host with the most, the often imitated, never duplicated, Dr. B.O.A., a.k.a. Book of Alpha Running Man, here in the Alpha Sphere, once again with the Alpha Men to get it in. Appreciate y'all joining me again, man, here in the battlefield for the real the Alpha Sphere. What I'm doing, man, is just opening up a can of worms, man, that only certain men, only certain men can do this, man, because I'm going to be honest with you. The way I deal with women, man, honestly, is just because I'm a pretty fucked up individual. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, emotionally, the only saving grace I have in my life, man, is spirituality, man. Because if it wasn't for my relationship with the Most High, man, like, there's a bunch of shit, man, that I'd probably still be doing. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of things i still be into. You know what I'm saying? I can guarantee these boys wouldn't be talking, they, they wouldn't be talking crazy to me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I can guarantee that. I've been in, I, 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 with that that have been got nipped in the bud. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, to really, man, to deal with women in an emotionless way, like it's 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 almost a curse to be emotionless, to like not have emotional attachment to 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 females, man. See, when I'm talking about, you can love a woman, but that's not emotional attachment. Emotional attachment is being in love with the woman. You understand? It's a totally different thing, man. And to not even have that capacity, man, some people may look at that as a flaw. You know, but when it comes to sometimes I think about how cold I am with women, man, it's not because I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? I actually love them. You know what I'm saying? I love their company. I love having them around. Of course, I love being physical, physically intimate with them. You know, I love I love conversing with them. You know, I love just having them around. I love love them laying up under me, man. I love the you know the squeeze on their bodies, man. You know, I say I love to to eat with them, cook with them, you know, play with them, lay with them. You know what I'm saying? Everything but stay with them. You know what I'm saying? And for the longest time in my life, man, it took me it took me a while to accept the fact that that's okay. It's it's okay for me to be that way because that's how I am. You know, so all the good parts of the committed relationship that guys talk about. I don't I ain't I don't get that shit. So I mean I imagine there are some good parts, but I don't get it. Cause I you know I don't I'm never in that in that scenario. I'm never in that position. So, you know, I say this, man. The thing is, is I pretty much don't give a fuck about nothing that she does or says or brings to the table. Nothing that she does holds any weight with me. You understand? So ain't nothing no woman in the world could do to make me say maybe she's the one. There ain't no one. She may be one of the two or three, but there is no one. And this is the way I've been since as long as I can remember. I've dealt, yeah, I've dealt with some shit in my life that made me this way, but I don't have a problem with that. I'm perfectly fine. Matter of fact, I feel blessed to be this way. I feel blessed to be such an, an emotionally unavailable individual that nothing a woman can do can finagle me into being some beta male simp mangina that's all in love and, and and just gonna sweat off all the women in the, in the world or I'm going or even doing dumb shit like you know I'm, I'm gonna tell the woman it's just me and her when really I got other women because the difference between me and most motherfuckers is I don't care how she feels about anything that's why I'm open and honest about everything I listen I don't I'm not honest with women because I think they deserve honesty I'm honest with women because I'm fucking honest it ain't got nothing to do with her. I'm, I'm honest when I talk to you niggas. So I'm going to be honest when I talk to her. It ain't got nothing to do with her. I know I hear some guys saying, well, you, you should lie to women because women don't deserve women don't deserve honesty. Hey, man, if you live your life based on what women deserve, man, don't call yourself alpha. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got that shit down. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got that shit down. All this, you know, well, you know, well, I can't, I ain't, I'm going to lie to women because they lie to me. Okay, well, I'm, well, so if you're going to do everything women do, you might well get into some some shady activity, some shady sexual activity. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit around here and tell me you're going to do everything women do, but you care too much. And, hey, man, I sympathize with you. I can't empathize with you because I frankly don't give a fuck. You know, so I hear sometime, man, like there may be a woman, man, that's really into me, that's really into me. And I ain't steadin' her ass. And then other cats be all into her, man. They be, they just be, oh man, they be chasing her down and hawking her down and 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 you know, man, showing up at her crib and, and showing up at her job and doing all that shit and sending her flowers to her job and shit. And bro, she can't even get me to answer the fucking phone. You understand? So I'm gonna tell you a few things that differentiate 
the 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 pimp mindset because this is the thing not everybody who has a pimp mindset is active in the pimp game you understand the mindset is based on your life and the shit you've experienced and i'm gonna be honest with you man to to be a way that i wouldn't recommend you be if you don't have to that says a lot about you know how how how, how fucked up i am you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. That's why I have to watch myself and make sure that I don't go too hard on the beta male cell man Johnny because I know he's just a product of his environment. But the problem is, every man is a product of his environment. But when these boys want to call out Ray Ray or they want to call out uh, Thuggo or Pookie or whoever they want to call out or they want to say, pimps are the scum of the earth. Any nigga that say pimps are the scum of the earth, man, he's just a sucker. You know what I'm saying? He a sucker, and he basing that shit on what he see on TV. You understand? He basing it on, on, on movies like Pimps Up, Hoes Down. He basing it on rappers who try to portray the image. He basing it on, you know, movies like Superfly or, 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 or The Mac. You know, he basing it on Hollywood's definition. Man, you can't look at no black exploitation film, man, and think you're getting the truth about nothing that got nothing to do with being from the hood or the block or the streets or the life or any of that, man. So, these are some things, man, that this this i just this not giving a fuck that's the the bottom line is it's simply just not giving a fuck and see the fact that i don't care about no emotional attachment i don't run from any emotional attachment because it's impossible for me to become emo man i couldn't fall in love with a woman man if there ain't nothing that can ever happen in the world that's gonna make me fall in love with a woman nothing there is absolutely if i sat down for 10 years and thought of shit not, nothing that can happen is going to make me fall in love with a woman. So I can love a woman freely and openly. I don't have to guard my feelings because ain't then she can do to, 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 to bother my feelings because I just don't give a fuck about nothing. Not when it comes to dealing with a woman. Man, I don't care about nothing she does, bro. Unless it's something that affects me, you know, directly. You know what I'm saying? Let's say if she on my team, man, I mess around and hit her raw, man, and she burn my... Yeah, you know, we going to... Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But I'm talking about just anything she could do in her life. Man, I don't care. I don't care. Nigga, I dropped the bra one time, man, for not for uh for not for the way she was answering the phone when I called, man. Answered the phone, man. She said, yeah. That's how she answered the phone. She said, but you ain't gonna answer the phone like that for me. I called her, man. She said, yeah. I said, all right, shout. Don't answer the phone like that when I call. You better you you gonna give me you gonna re revere me when I call or some shit. You gotta come up with something else, man. She did it about three more times, man. I blocked the ass on everything. You know what I'm saying? I blocked on everything. You know what I'm saying? Got another little chick right now, man. I got blocked on everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got time, man. I block bitches on everything. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do because her value to me is based on what she contributes. Nothing else. She has no other value. Do I appreciate women's love? Yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I mean, for the simple fact of the energy that it brings to my life. It enhances the energy in my life, man. When a woman loves on me, I'm talking about really loves on me, man, like like some of these motherfuckers don't even know about. But when a woman loves on me, man, in a way that's, you know, that's pretty much unconditional, you know what I'm saying? I know it's it's not that traditional, unconditional love where, you know, no matter what happens, a woman's gonna love you, but I'ma always be on my shit. So I ain't gotta worry about what happens if I fall off my shit, if I become a beta male simp mangina, if I start catering to her, if I start putting her before myself. I ain't got to worry about if she gonna change. Women love unconditionally as long as your ass don't change the conditions. See, a woman who loves you as a, as a, as, as a player, that woman ain't gonna love you as a square committed man. That ain't what she appreciate from you. So as long as you stay consistent with who you are, a woman's going to love you unconditionally because there are no conditions. You are who you are. You don't come out of a different bag. And the only reason a man will come out of a different bag is if he values a woman so much that he, she wants him to do that and he does it to keep her from leaving. Man, let me tell you something. I, a woman can't leave me. What she can do is free me from her fucking presence. She can't leave me. What she can do is take the problem of her out of my life. I never look at it from a woman leaving me because a woman ain't going to leave me. You understand? What she going to do is, is help me get rid of a problem named her. And that's how I view it. I view it this way, man, because I don't trust a woman to be anything more than she is. If she can act like she's different from every woman for 10 years, and I'm still not going to believe it. 20 years. 
she can listen. She can be. She can seem like she's different from every other woman for until she die. And I still will never believe. I just believe I didn't catch her ass at those times when she was being her normal self. I don't care enough about any of this shit to try to figure it out. I don't care enough about you know about anything. But I don't care about female nature or none of that shit. That's why I say all the time, man. My channel ain't for niggas who need to learn about female nature. I can't teach you about female nature. You're a grown ass man. You've been dealing with females your whole life. Just look at what females do, nigga. Look at how they act. You know, look at the stories you've heard from men. Look at the situations you've seen play out in the public eye. I don't tell niggas about female nature. I'm not gonna tell you how to deal with no woman, but as far as her nature, well, uh, well, let me rephrase that. I'm not gonna tell you how to accept female nature. I'm not gonna tell you how to get no woman. I'm not gonna tell you how to get no woman to have sex with you. Cause the thing is, if you gotta get a woman, you gotta get a woman to have sex with you, that woman don't fucking want you. And I don't know how to tell you to deal with a woman that don't want your ass. So when I say the cold approach is beta, let me take that back. It ain't beta, it's simp shit though. You understand? And the thing is, you have to really value something to in order to approach it that way. And if you value it like that, it's because you ain't got a lot of it. It's kind of like diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Diamonds are a hot commodity, but shit, the De Beers, the De Beers uh, Diamond Group has storehouses full of diamonds. They're constantly digging up diamonds, but they only they only unleash them to the market and unleash them on the market in small increments. So they have value to us, but they don't mean nothing to them. They're just a, a source of generational wealth. So right now, if you get a diamond, you know, you're like, shit, man, this, I got these, got these diamonds, got, you know, everybody wearing rings and all that shit and watches with diamonds in it. But let somebody send you a, a, a pickup truck full of diamonds. Guess what? You're, you're going to start wearing diamonds and start wearing rubies or some shit in your joints because diamonds lose their value. You know, and it's the same token with anything, man. You The value that a woman's love has to certain men. Let me tell you something. The majority of men out here, if everything was perfect, if women changed, if women changed and were who men wanted them to be, the majority of these niggas would be in monogamous relationships, man. The majority of them would. I'm telling you what I know. The majority of these dudes would be in monogamous relationships, man. Hell, some of them would still be trying it now. See, and let me tell you something. Something else. That's why a lot of times, like you see people, you know, saying shit like, like let's say if I block somebody out of the chat, I don't block them because I give a fuck about what they saying. I block them because they don't belong here. You understand? This is a members only establishment right here. And as soon as you show that you don't have the credentials to be a member here, you need to be gone. You trespassing. You know what I'm saying? Anybody I block out of here is trespassing on the atmosphere. So I don't block them because I give a fuck about what they're saying. I really don't care. But if certain things come out of your mouth, then you trespassing here. I don't even know how you got in. I'm going to go talk to the security and see how in here they let you slip in here. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, if you're looking at blocking, nothing is emotional unless you do it for emotional reasons. See what I'm saying? Nothing is emotional unless you do it for emotional reasons. If, if a woman hurt your feelings and you block her, or if a woman make you mad and you block her, no, I block her broad when I realize that she don't need to be in my life anymore, and I know that I know how she gonna do. She gonna keep contacting me. You understand? So even like even questions like that, when you ask questions like that, I know you don't really have no access to women the way you're supposed to, man. And the reason why most men don't have access to women like they're supposed to, because they value women too much. You see what I'm saying? The majority of men will look at a pimp and say, man, you, you, you're a low down dirty dog for getting money out of women. And then I'm looking at that sucker like, no, you're a low down dirty dog for letting a woman get money out of you. So I ask you this. If you're going to be a low down dirty dog, is it better to be a low down dirty dog to somebody else or to yourself? I say again, is it better to be a low down dirty dog to yourself or to someone else? If you want to classify it as a low down dirty dog. Is it better to treat somebody else bad or treat yourself bad? Is it better to take advantage of someone else or, or have someone take advantage of you? You understand? See, the thing, the, the number one rule, the number one weapon that pimps use to successfully dominate women, man, is self-prioritization. Self-prioritization. Man, let me tell you something. I am one selfish motherfucker, man. I am selfish as shit. Literally. 
That's why my motto with women is my well, no way. I don't care what her way is. I don't care what her goals, ambitions, dreams, or none of that shit is. I don't have the capacity to care about that. Everything I had a capacity to care about, my, my caring capacity is already filled. I, I can't care about anything else. All the shit, I, I'm, all, all my caring is already spent out. So no matter what she comes up with, I ain't got no caring left for it. Don't matter how great she is, don't matter how. And let me tell you something else. Her emotions. I don't care about her emotions because they don't mean shit to me. You see what I'm saying? Like when a woman tries to press me emotionally, it irks me. I'd be like, shout that, you wasting your time. The puppy dog eyes and the tears and the and the and the, and the begging and pleading and the and the, and the, and the, and the t- oh especially telling me how much you love me and how much you man let me tell you something bro nothing irks me more than hearing a woman go on and on about how much she fucking loves me man like that shit bothers me you know what I'm saying like that shit something about it that shit just seems dumb you know what I'm saying and it seems so dumb and then so I'm asking myself wait a minute do this bro think I'm dumb because she sure is harping on this let me tell you something. I don't care about her love. I only care about her fucking actions. Her actions. Her actions must go in line with what I want because I'm going to prioritize what I want. No matter what happens, I'm going to prioritize what I want and I'm going to reward her with some of the things she wants for her and to reward her for prioritizing what the hell I prioritize. Another thing, this is one of the things that makes that, I mean, this is just the most prominent asshole shit you can ever do and but you know what women love it i don't respect her opinion on anything you understand i don't respect her opinion on anything i mean i just don't it it has no value to me it means absolutely nothing to me i don't really know why anyone would even would even value her opinion because she don't really have she don't really know a lot of shit except the things that she really that she's really passionate about she don't care to know anything else except the things she's really passionate about and nothing she's passionate about affects anything that i got going on so i totally disregard any of that shit because i don't have the capacity to give a shit you know i'm a pretty fucked up individual to be honest with you man like certain shit that most men can do, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Falling in love is one of those things I can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like being sad that a woman leaves. I can't be sad because a woman leaves, man. Like, I mean, I, j- I don't lose anything when she leaves. You know what I'm saying? What happens when she leaves is a space frees up in my life. A space and some time and all of these different things, man. Now, another thing is this, man. When it comes to trust and shit like that, I don't care about her trust. Like when a woman tell me she trusts me or she don't trust me, I don't even use words like trust with human beings, man. You know what I'm saying? I only use trust with the most high. I don't use trust with human beings. Trust means that you can 100% expect somebody to do whatever the hell, whatever the hell you think they're going to do and they're not going to change. That's the only shit I can trust. I can only trust something that's not going to change. You know what I'm saying? I trust the most high in myself. Because I know what to expect from the most high and I know what the fuck to expect from myself. Anybody else, man? I don't play word games, man. I don't use words like, you know, trust and, you know, commitment and monogamy and, and you know what I'm saying, and fidelity and shit like that. I don't use those type of terms because I don't care enough about any relationship I've ever had with a woman. I've just never cared enough about it to consider giving her what the fuck she wants to be happy. Her happiness is not my responsibility. I tell a woman all the time, you got to already be happy, shawty. Uh, you can't, uh, I just need a man to make me happy. Uh, good luck finding that shit. Niggas don't, manu- we don't manufacture happiness. I can't make you happy. You know, no more than I can make you skinny. You know what I'm saying? Or make you fat or make you tall. I can't make you none of that shit. You find your own happiness. You know what I'm saying? A woman can't rely on me to be nothing but what the fuck I am. If she can't get it from being in my presence, if she can't get it from being in my presence, she ain't going to get it. So when cats be talking about, man, you got to whine and dine on woman, you got to do all that. Boy, let me tell you something. I may overvalue myself. I admit that. I, I really may overvalue myself. You understand? I, I may really overvalue myself, but that's that's cool. 
because I don't overvalue myself to me. I may overvalue myself to, to, to women, but that's cool. You know, the bottom line is this, man. I just am not equipped to give a fuck. So trying to be in a committed relationship with me, man, is, is the wrong thing for a woman to do. That shit is never going to pan out the way she wants it to pan out, especially if she's caught up in the societal norms or whatever relationship is. Man, that shit ain't going to never pan out. It'll never pan out. Like, I don't see at any point, like, I've met a, a bunch of women, and I've never even, even met a woman who was close to being a woman I just want to be with with no other woman, just her. See, let me tell you what the problem is. I don't have the, capa I don't have the capacity to view the world from a feminine fucking perspective. That's the thing. I don't have the capacity to view the world from a feminine perspective. So certain decisions that men make, I'm not going to make them shits. Because I just simply don't have... And, and hey, man, bro, and motherfuckers say, well, you missing out on this. And you got to get to know people. And you got to do... Like, niggas think they know everything you got to do. Nigga, all you got to do is be your fucking self. You understand? Like, that's all you got to do is be yourself. Because that's all you can do. So trying to be anything else is wasting your damn time. You just got to live your life, man, and do the shit. Hey, man, you are who you are. You know, we as black men, the majority of us have mental issues. Damn near, probably all of us have mental issues. I embrace mine. I embrace my emotional issues. I embrace the fact that, you know, a woman is in trouble. Is she trying? Is she fall? Man, let me tell you something. A woman fall in love with me, man, she done fucked up. Like, she she, she really, she done fucked up. Because she finna, she finna experience some emotional turmoil. Any woman who's ever fallen in love with me has experienced some emotional turmoil. Not because I tried to be a certain way, but because I am a certain way. I am that way. I am who I am. I tell women all the time when I first meet them, I say, Shawty, you can be my number one, but you can't, you can't even never be my only one. You know, but they give it, they give it a shot. They the fools who go ahead and get, well, you know, well, you just don't know. You just got to, you just got to get to know me and, you know, you just got to. You got to get to know me. Okay, cool. I'm going to get to know you. But I'm telling you, even when I get to know you, I'm probably going to be more adamant about this shit because I'm going to find out all your fucking flaws. See what I'm saying? And this is the thing, man. I'm, I'm so fucked up that, that, that a woman can't do anything right. Even when she does something right, she can't do anything right. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever she does, it has no value to me because I deserve everything she gives. Everything she gives, I deserve that shit. There ain't nothing she can give, and I'd be like, "Damn, man, that was that was pretty nice of you, Shawty. That was, that was, you know, you're 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 a very nice woman. You know, you don't you didn't have to do that, but you did it. Ain't nothing I can tell her about. She didn't have to do that because everything she does, she gonna be with me. She got to do it. So when I hear these cats, you know, a lot of cats be talking about, man, how you know you got to do this and you got to. You know, you got to have this feeling for the woman. You got to, you know, you got to, you know, spend money on the woman. Of course, the difference between the pimp and the simp is the pimp is spending money that the woman is contributing as well. The simp is spending his own money on the woman who's not contributing. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, man. The bottom line is, man, the majority of these boys are sugar daddies. And that's just the truth. The, the majority of these niggas are sugar daddies, man. The majority of them, damn near all of them are sugar daddies, man. These boys are sugar daddies, man. Young, old, I ain't even talking about age thing. Most of these boys are sugar daddies. They 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 embrace the idea that they got to pay a woman in order to have them around. They got to pay them something. You know, that's why when you say, man, I don't, I don't pay no bras. Well, you got to pay them some kind of way. Even if you take them on a date, you're paying. Even if you go buy yourself some clothes to wear when you go to her house, you're paying. How the fuck you talking about, nigga? I buy clothes all the time. You mean tell me because, you know, I do something that I normally do, the fit that I wear to see her is I, I tricked off? Come on, man. Them niggas is reaching, bro. And let me tell you why they reaching. Because the majority of men have been unfortunately conditioned in this society to view relationships from a female perspective. They view relationships from an emotional perspective. They view relationships from a position of neediness, like they need the woman. They need her sex. They need her company. They need her energy. They need her femininity. They need her cooking. They need her laundry and cleaning and all that shit. I don't need a bra for nothing, man. 
And you see a woman with me, man, it's because I want her. I'm talking about Keith Sweat. I want her. That, that's it, man. Not because I look at her and say, oh, man, I can't do without her. There's something about her that I just love so much. Oh, my life is not the same when she's not around. Oh, man, I just uh, feel so bad when she's not around. You know, I'm you know, I just don't know what I'm gonna do, man. You know, say you like Lenny Williams, man. And 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 I play my records till I just didn't want to play my records no more. And I called my friend and I said, maybe you never been in love like I've been in love. Like you see, you you, you Lenny Williams around this bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these boys are, are are Lenny Williams in disguise. You see what I'm saying? The secret weapons that pimps use to dominate women. It's that I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I'm going to dominate her she, or she ain't going to be in my life. Pimps don't compromise the shit that they want. They don't let women give them something other than what they want from a woman. They don't let women add value to shit that has no value and then present it to them. You understand? I was telling a little chick, man, about a week ago, man, and she was like, Talking about man, how how you know how you know how, how she would she'll she'll put it on me and I just you know she'll turn me out and she'll you know you know how these hoes be talking shit about what they'll do sexually man and she don't know the more she was talking the more she was turning me off man because let me tell you something you got to realize a woman gonna put her best foot forward so the first shit she talked to you about offering and and how much how valuable it is that's all she got going for herself and if a woman is talking about what kind of sex she'll put on you man. Listen, bro, I let her talk, man, for about, about five minutes, man. And I was like, Shout, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want none of your pussy, Shout. I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to the clinic and get a clean bill of health before I cut you, Shout. Because you just talk about sex too much, so I know you overly sexually active. I'm not even pushing up in that sex pool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do it. And, you know, she got in her feelings, man, and... She called me Mr. Motherfucker, man. First time I ever been called that, man, but I like that, Mr. Mo she called me Mr. Motherfucker. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm just letting you know, shawty. You understand? This is the thing, man. I don't give a fuck if I have 10 women. I don't give a fuck if I have none. I don't give a fuck if I have sex every day. I don't give a fuck if I have sex once a year. I don't give a fuck if a woman cooks. I don't give a fuck if a woman can't cook. I don't give a fuck if a woman enjoys being around me. I don't give a fuck if she hates my presence. I don't give a fuck if she hates me, if she loves me, if she likes me, if she doesn't, if she's attracted to me, if she isn't. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I literally don't care about none of that. So I be hearing boys talking about, man, they be overemphasizing that niggas just want to fuck these women, fuck these women, fuck these women. Man, these boys are young. Some of them ain't young in the age, but they're young mentally and emotionally, man. They think like little boys who ain't never had no sex before, man. You understand what I'm saying? The bottom line is the, 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 the reason, the only way you can successfully dominate women is to not give a fuck is to not have any emotional investment and the problem is the reason why these niggas have such big stables and they be pumping and dumping and doing all that because by the time they get close enough for the woman to be emotionally invested guess what these niggas are emotionally invested too and ain't no coming back once you become emotionally invested your ass is lost and i just don't have a nigga i've tried to look i tried to fall in love with women before man like, I have really tried. Man, listen. I tried monogamy twice in my life, man. Each time, man. Well, the first time was for about a year. Second time was probably for about five months. And I've tried it, man. And I'm going to be honest with you. That shit, I don't even see how you develop emotional attachment. And all you got is one woman. Like, that shit is such an empty existence, man. As a man, having one woman is an empty fucking existence, man. Because eventually, man, you're going to get used to her. And when you get used to her and she your only option for sex, man, you lose your fucking sex drive. That shit kills your libido, man. Nigga, you waking up in the morning, you don't even have a pee hard on no more, man. Like, yo, your wood don't be wanting to brick up for nothing. Nigga be like, man, I ain't going to brick up for you, nigga. You ain't going to give me no excitement. I'm tired of that same old hoe, man. I'm tired. I don't want that same honey, man. Let go find another hive. And you're like, well, no, no, no. No, Mr. Penis, we're gonna not. We're not gonna find another hive. We're gonna just stay here and get this honey, man. Your dick stop working, man. Be like, dog, I ain't playing with you no more, nigga. I ain't never coming out. 
If you ain't finna pee, nigga, don't take me out. I ain't gonna do nothing for you. You see what I'm saying? And so you get into these scenarios, man, where you find yourself in a predicament, man, where you've actually fallen in love. Bro, think about the term falling in love, man. To fall means that your ass is on the ground. You can't walk. You can't run. You can't even look in every direction. You can't even watch your back when you're on the ground. You can't do nothing from on the ground. So no man should even want to fall in love, man. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. Women like to talk about the value they have to other men, like from the past. They'll tell you, well, you know, you know, my, my ex did this and my ex was this. My ex thought this and my ex thought this. And I'd be like, well, what the fuck is he? Well, we broke up. Okay, so whatever the hell happened, that shit wasn't valuable enough for him to either that shit didn't keep him or it didn't make you valuable enough to him where he didn't do some shit to run your ass off. So your, your past credentials are irrelevant to me. I don't care what you did to the last nigga. That don't matter to me. It don't mean nothing. Everything a woman says, other men value, I devalue that shit instantly. Instantly. You understand? Because I don't want a woman to be in no frame of mind that I give a fuck. That that shit matters to me. It's going to get her any brownie points or blackie points. And I don't get her no points with me. The only thing I'm going to get her points is doing what the fuck I tell her to do. For me, that's the only thing. All a woman can do for me, man, is what the fuck I tell her to do. She can't do nothing else. I, ain't, I don't want to compromise. I don't want to do none of that. Because like I told you, the difference between me and these motherfuckers out here that's always talking about bras and how you get them and how you got to keep them. I don't give a fuck if I ain't got no woman. Yeah, nigga, I don't give a fuck if I ain't got no woman for five years. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how little I care about having a woman's presence, man. I don't care. The only thing that matters to me, man, that's why I say women have to earn everything they get because her presence on face value, it don't earn that. You know what I'm saying? I had a chick tell me, man, recently, man, she told me, man, that her pussy was God. She told me her pussy was a God. You know what I'm saying? Of course, she talking like that, man. I blocked her on everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I blocked her on that. Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm the Kimbe Mutombo. No, 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 no. My block game is official. I lead the league in blocks, man. I block them on everything in a minute. Because I, I just ain't really got time, man, to have no foolish energy in my life, man. You know what I'm saying? And the majority of the time, the foolish energy comes from chicks, man. Now, don't get me wrong, man. Like I don't deviate from black women. You know what I'm saying? I don't deviate from black women. That's another thing. Like, these boys out here, man, they suckers, man. Anytime I hear a nigga talking about, man, well, I just swore black women off. I just swore them off. Hey, man, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck you man should do that. You live in America, Jack. If you swore black women off, nigga, if you're, if you're a black man, black women are your greatest chance to have success with women. It's your greatest chance. You know what I'm saying? Because they can identify with you. And I don't even understand the logic in that, man. I'm not swearing off black women, bro. I, but I don't, I don't compromise my standards. So, yeah, I, 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 shit, I, I pass on a lot of them. I pass on a lot of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some, I'm talking about some bad chicks too, man. But bad ain't enough for me. Because I don't give a fuck about her being bad. All that means is that she's more likely that to, to, you know, to be a boss freak. And I'm like, okay, when I need a boss freak, I'll hit her up. But I don't need that shit every day. You know, so you, you got You look at it, man, and, and you say these things to yourself, man. You know, I look at it like this, man. The value she has to other men is irrelevant. Like, just because a woman has been married before, I don't give a fuck about that. Just because she's, you know, a wife and material to one nigga don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, one nigga had her all in his business, all knowing about his money and all that, and he can trust her. I'm not going to trust her. You understand? Just because, you know, one man, you know, thinks that she's, you know, this super nice girl. She's the nicest girl around, man. He pedestalizes her. I'm not pedestalizing her. There ain't nothing she can do to get put on a pedestal by me. You know what I'm saying? And that's why my interaction with women are so smooth, man. That's why my relationship with women, man, I don't have no problems. Because I don't do shit to create problems. I don't put myself in problem areas emotionally with women. I don't put myself in problem areas mentally with women. I don't let women tap into any part of me. You know what I'm saying? Women are accessories. They're like watches. You know what I'm saying? I look at, I, I look at my fit, man, and I decide which watch I'm going to wear. You know what I'm saying? That's how I view women, man, because the bottom line is when you look back on life, man, you realize that they are who we thought they were. And once you realize that, man, you have to accept the world for what it is. I tell you like this too, man. A lot of these boys have a problem with getting money out of women. 
They think that you're supposed to do all the pain. They think that as a man, it's your job to provide. They think, yeah, it's your job to provide if you got a wife that ain't getting no money. But I'm going to be honest with you. What kind of nigga want a wife that ain't getting no money? That ain't contributing, no that can't get no money? What type? Man, you crazy, man. That shit is old news. Now, don't get me wrong. They still be coming at me. And I could. I have several opportunities to. You know what I'm saying? I have many opportunities to, bro, to be honest with you. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock them down, man. So, now, and let me tell you something else, man. When these boys be talking like, you know, you can't, man, you know, nah, nah. Well, you ain't no man. You ain't no man if you got to, you know, rely on your woman for money. It ain't about relying on her, man. It's about her providing something of value. The problem is these boys value everything about it. These niggas value the tips on her toes. She get French tips. Oh, man, she got the French tips on her toes. I don't give a fuck about no brown toenails, nigga. I'm supposed to value her toenails? For what? For what, nigga? But this, these are the type of things they do, man. Like, they value every single part of the woman. I'm like, my nigga, I don't even understand the logic in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really, really be serious about it, man. Man, she keep her nails done, man. You know, she keep her hair done and shit, man. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I prefer a chick that wear natural hair, man. But wear it proudly. And figure out a style that fits her fucking face. I, I prefer that. You know what I'm saying? If, if I had to pick. So, man, you know, and another thing is this, man. Why would a man feel... I can understand it. I can understand it. This is why a man feels that way about a man who get money out of women, man. Because in his mind, he thinks he should be the one being used for money. He thinks he should be the one being used for his financial benefit. He thinks that's his job. So he'll take care of one who make more money than him. You know what I'm saying? He literally will. He'll work two jobs to make still make less money than she does so he can pay all the bills and not have to worry about being he feels like he's more of a man if his woman is satisfied with his output as a slave as a servant i don't give a fuck enough about being on the plantation man to be a servant for a woman i'm not gonna be a woman slave bro that job don't pay enough now another thing is this man I'm 100% open about my desire for multiple women. No matter what any particular woman offers. I don't, there ain't shit she can offer that's going to make me say, okay, baby, it's going to be you and I then. It's just you and I, me, me, me and you against the world. No other woman is ever going to infiltrate. I'm never going to be, man, I'm not finna tell no woman that shit, man, because it ain't that she can bring to the table that I value so much that I'm going to do that. The, the thing is, there is a block. You know what I'm saying? There's a part of a man's brain that connects with his emotions. And distributes his emotions to this woman. And makes him shower her with love and affection. Like true love and affection. Hoping that he'll get that in return. Now every man should have a have a deactivation switch for that shit. But the majority of men don't. So they end up falling in love with any old scallywag. No matter who she is. Nigga just be in love, nigga be in love with a, a broad that's nothing. Literally nothing. You know what I'm saying? So the reason that I'm 100% open about my desire for multiple women because I don't care if I don't have the woman. I don't give a shit. It don't bother me, man. Because let me tell you something. My life was no better. My life, you know, when I, when, when I didn't have a woman and then got a woman or had, didn't have a woman, then got women or didn't have access to women, then gained access to women, my life didn't improve on that shit. That shit don't improve my life, man. It really doesn't. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that improves my life, man, is if a woman's contribution. If she's, you know, c contributing something that has value. Other than that, man, man, I don't value none of that shit. My life did not enhance. My life did, did not get better because, you know what I'm saying, because I had a couple of women in it. And it didn't get worse because I didn't have a couple of women in it. Though they have never affected my quality of life. It's not. It's simply not something that they can affect. You know what I'm saying? Not with their presence. You know, they can affect my quality of life, man, going out getting that paper. You know what I'm saying? Or doing what the fuck I need them to do to, to, to secure that paper. But 
other than that, man, there ain't nothing she can do, man, that's going to make me be like, oh, I think I found the one. You ain't going to never see me, nigga. With no goddamn tuxedo on, man, with about three or four of my partners, man. They tell me, you ready for your big day, dog? I ain't gonna never be that. Matter of fact, nigga, I'm not gonna be one of the niggas. I'm not gonna be one of the groomsmen. I'm not gonna be at my wedding, and I ain't gonna be at nobody else's wedding either. You know what I'm saying? I've never been to a wedding, and I have no plans on going to one. Ever. I don't give a fuck who getting married, nigga. I don't care who you getting married. Now, one of my partner married Oprah Winfrey. I'm gonna go ahead and be that so I can shit, so I can, she can see that I support the movement. You know what I'm saying? So me and my partner can figure out how to break our pockets. Now, and I'm going to tell you something else too, man. This is a mindset that everybody talks about, but only the true peas have this mindset completely. The I am the prize mindset. So let me tell you what I am the prize means. It don't just mean that I value myself more than I value her. That's not what I'm the prize mean. I'm the prize means that everything I get, I deserve. So if a woman gives me whatever she gives me, man, I don't never tell no woman thank you for no shit she does. Thank you? If you on my team, it's your job to do those things. You ain't got no choice. I'm not finna. Man, let me buy her the shit. Buy her some crazy things, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I done heard of niggas, man, who thank they chick for getting them head, man. Thank them. You know what I'm saying? They, they, if they catch every drop, don't miss a drop, man. Nigga, thank them. You know what I'm saying? Thanks him for, for giving him something that he know he didn't deserve. That's the only time you thank somebody for something, man. When when they give you something and you're surprised that you got it or maybe you didn't feel like you deserved it or it was a little bit out of your league or, or you hadn't earned it. Man, I don't never tell a woman thank you for nothing because everything she does is just par for the course. It's the bottom line, man. It's par for the course. She got to do it if she won't be around me. And if she don't want to be around me, cool. See, that's the thing. I don't give a shit enough to compromise. I don't care enough to compromise. These boys do. They'll be they'll they'll be playing that old. I'm a I'm, I'm a player rolling. I got man. Let a woman put pressure on them and tell them, hey, this right here needs to change. I can't deal with this. We're gonna have to part ways. Man, that nigga changing to somebody. He don't even know who the hell he is. And, and another thing is this, bro. I don't take no shit. From no woman, man. I don't take no shit. And I refuse to. Moving forward. See what I'm saying? A woman can run all kind of bullshit games on you, man. All kind of bullshit games. And I'm telling you. I don't play that. I don't play it, man. I never have and I never will. I don't play those games. Now, and this is the thing too, man. I treat all women the same. I don't give a fuck about these notions that this woman has more value. This one, I treat a woman who's only been with one man the same as I treat a woman who's been with ten. And you know what that is? It's called giving her the treatment she deserves. I give every woman the treatment she earns. That is it. it I mean, listen, man. Listen, she can be a butterface. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, shit man. I'm, I, that's real talk, man. She can look like a busted bottle of bourbon in the face. But the bottom line is, I'm going to treat her the same based on what she deserves. If she deserves the, the princess treatment, the queen treatment, she going to get it. She gonna get it now. This, of course, this is just hypothetically speaking, because you know the busted bar, busted ball of bourbon face bra wouldn't even she wouldn't even be on the team at all, man. She could she couldn't make it. She wouldn't be able to get in. But I, I treat them all the same, man. If she deserves to be treated like you know to treat it, shit disrespectfully, I'm gonna treat her disrespectfully. If she deserves to be treated respectfully, I'm gonna treat her respectfully. If she deserves to be ignored, I'm ignore her ass, no matter how fine or no matter what she look like. If she deserves some of my time, I'm going to give her my time. If she deserves to be kicked to the curb, I'm going to kick her ass to the curb. I'm going to treat them all the way they need, the, the way they deserve to be treated. And the way they deserve to be treated is how they behave. They deserve re they deserve rewards for particular behavior. That's just the bottom line, man. 
Orville Henry, man, I appreciate it. Fifty dollars super chat, bro. O H said, "Yo, big homie, I grew, I grew a lot bumping to this music. Thanks for your input on these major topics, hindering black men from being free from these women. My girl left two years ago with the kids. I ain't stopped her. She now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey, but you know what, man? That's a typical story, man. That we all share. We all share." You understand? You got to keep in mind, man. Let me tell you something. Keep a little nest egg aside. Call it the lug the luggage budget. Man, if you got a woman right now, man, your woman leave, man, go buy her some new luggage. It ain't got to be Gucci luggage, but go buy her some new luggage. Tell her you want her to get the fuck away from you in style. See what I'm saying? This is the problem that, man, man listen, I, I just had an interaction with a chick, man, uh, a couple of months ago. And she really, really believed that the shit she was saying to me had value. And she really didn't know that no matter what she said about herself, I didn't give a fuck. Because the only thing that matters is what she contributes to my cause, what she contributes to my life, what she contributes to my to my movement. If she don't contribute nothing to that, man, I don't give a fuck about it. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care about none of that. Matter of fact, I care less about a woman's looks. These days, man, to be honest with you, bro, I care more about a woman's content and character than I do her looks. You know what I'm saying? I do I do have to find her attractive because, you know, for obvious reasons. But for real, man, if I gotta do if I gotta accept a physical flaw in order to have, you know, if that was my option, either you accept this physical flaw and have this amazing personality, this amazing content and character, or you can ha you can just you can have the most beautiful woman in the world, but her but her character sucks. Man, I I I'll take the I'll take the chick man with physical with, with with some physical challenges, you know some beauty challenges with a perfect. If I had to pick one of those two, with a with a with a top notch personality man and and, and content of character up to par, I take her any day, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, I don't give a fuck what these niggas think. I don't give a fuck if they say you're supposed to have this beautiful woman, the most beautiful woman in the world. You're supposed to have her. I don't give a fuck about that, man. I really don't. So, you know, when it's all said and done, man, I really, really, you know, I really, really just look at these things and I say, man, you know what, man? I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a woman will present herself to you, man, and disregard her flaws and disregard her baggage and all that shit. Like, you just supposed to overlook that. But the problem is, men, they either overlook it or they don't overlook it. I don't care either way. I don't care about her good traits or her negative traits. All I care is about what I'm finna say to her right now is she gonna buy into the shit. I'm like Bill Belichick with these bras. You know what I'm saying? We winners over here. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're multiple time championship winners. This is our program. Do you think you could buy into it? If she says yes, I'm going to give her opportunity to play her way onto the field. If she says no, you know, we're going to send her ass right back off the we're right back out of the facility. Don't even put we ain't got don't even take your shoes out. Don't put no uniform on. Don't look for no uniform. Don't even go in my locker room. Just turn around and leave. And that's all that matters to me, man. It's my way or no way. It's my way or no way because I'm just a selfish motherfucker like that. It's my way or no way. You understand? That's another reason, man, that, that, you know, I don't really be, you know, there's a couple of panels I was on, man, that I wasn't going to back on them, man, because they motherfucker wasn't running the way I would have run them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they were loose. They were loosely run. And I don't, I don't really play that right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Not when I'm on a panel. When I'm on a panel, man, we having to talk about some serious shit. We talking about some life altering shit, some shit that affects men's lives. So another thing you got you to think about is this, man. For me, monogamy is completely out of the question. I talk about it. I be about it. I don't try to hide it. I don't try to deny it. I don't try to act like it ain't what it is. Monogamy is out of the question for me. Even if the Most High let me create the perfect woman, I'd request too. Even if he said, I'm going to give you the control, son. You create whatever you do. Think about all the great character flaw, the character traits and the physical traits and all that that you want in the perfect woman. I'm going to get the opportunity to build that woman. Before I even start building, I say, well, look at here, God. Can I have two? Can I build two? Like, what if I, like, make make them both sweet and petite? So I won't take up, I won't take up that much, you know, that much body tissue. You know what I'm saying? I take up the minimum amount of body tissue and just make two instead of making one stout one. You know, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> That's the shit that I do, man. Because monogamy is completely out of the question, bro. It is That shit is so far out of the question that I'm be honest with you, I don't even have discussions with women about that anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's to the point now where a woman is in my life, man, she don't bring that up. It's never a topic of discussion. Because I'm consistent with that. Very consistent. 100% consistent with that. That's just how that's going to be. And this is the thing, man. And this is one of the things that gets me called an asshole the most. I don't compromise anything when it comes to women. Now, you got these beta male man giants out here, man, that tell you, man, well, if you want a woman, you, you got to compromise. You, 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 you got to compromise. If you... No, you got to compromise because the women don't even like you. The less, the less a woman likes you, the more you got to compromise. The more she likes you, the less you have to compromise. She'll take some shit off you if she likes you. If she don't really like you at all, man, you got to leave. You got to leave with your wallet, and you got to, you know, you got to really, really, really be willing to allow her desires to dictate and dominate how you interact with her and what you do. And I ain't going for that type of shit right there, man. I can't do it. It's impossible for me to do. I won't even think about it. You understand? So, the secret weapon. I went through all that just to get to this point. The secret weapon pimps use to successfully dominate women is fucking control. Demanding control. Not accepting being out of control. That's how you dominate a woman. You got to control the entire dynamic. And the thing is, you can go through a lot of women before you find a group of women or a couple of women that fit into your life on that style. But once you find them and they fit in, boy, you're going to be living the life that niggas dream of. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to be living the life niggas dream of. Because this is the bottom line is this. When... When you can't just say something and a woman does it, you're not alpha. You're not a pimp. You're not a player. You're not any of that. What you are is just a dude who likes chicks and has access to them. If that's going to be your only interaction with females, man, you might as well fall back and give up on it. Because they, listen, they're only worth what they do. They're only worth what they, and we, let's, we're not going to even use the term bring to the table anymore here because she can't sit at the table. This table is for kings and noble men. There ain't no woman seat at this table. And so we'll keep that in mind from now on, man. You know, the bottom line is this right here, man. I really, really admit, man, that I got some fucking, some mental and emotional scars, man, mental and emotional flaws by this world, by this world standard. And I just have to accept that that's what the fuck it is. That's what I got, man. That's who I am. That's what I represent. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I can't change it. I can't make, I, I ain't nothing I can do. That's just how the fuck it is, man. Beats by eight nine. Appreciate the five dollar super chat, bro. Homer said, if you was married, will you sleep in separate room from your wife under the same house? If so, why? Yeah, man, I definitely sleep in separate room. I might shit. We might have different cribs. To be honest with you, but if we were in the same crib, we definitely sleep in separate rooms. Cause I don't want no woman in the bed with me every fucking night. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's as simple as that. I don't want a woman in the bed with me every night. I don't want to have to look at a woman every night. I don't want to have to feel a woman next to me every night. I don't want to have to feel her energy. I don't want to have to. You know, hear a voice. I don't want to have to, you know what I'm saying, get a whiff of her morning breath. I don't want none of that. I don't want a woman laying in the bed with me. The only time she needs to lay in the bed with me is when I want to be intimate with her. You know what I'm saying? When, I'm, when when it's her turn. When it's her turn to get the lumber, then she come through, man. That'd be her night. She come through, you know what I'm saying? She come in. It's, 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 like, it's like she has a separate apartment from, from my bedroom. My bedroom is my crib, and she comes in there when I want her to come in there. But that, that sleeping in the bed with a woman every night, man, I'll be on that sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? For me, that sucker shit. I'm not going to do that. 
You know what I'm saying? And I tell women that all the time. So if I ever was in this scenario, believe me, the woman that's in the scenario with me, where we in a relationship like that, she going to buy in. She going to know we ain't sleeping in the same damn bed together every night, man. Exactly, Walt. That's what it'll do, man. Overexposure to that feminine energy. And you got to think about this. That feminine energy, just overexposure to it when, you, when you're awake can affect you in a negative manner. But when you're asleep, man, you ain't even got your guards up defending yourself against that shit. It's just pouring into you. You know what I'm saying? It's just pouring into you. And, and let me tell you something crazy, bro. And I'm going to tell y'all like this. I had a chick tell me recently, man, that she don't want a relationship with men. She just want their energy. She said she take niggas' energy sexually, man. You know what I'm saying? She 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 admitted, like she admitted she's the succubus. Like, literally, she admitted she's the succubus. Or she's a succubus. And you know, the bottom line is, man, you got to keep in mind that every time you interact with a woman, you lose some of your energy. Is there's an energy exchange that takes place, man? So, you know, you got to keep that in mind, man, as, you, as you're as in, you in, in, in embracing and, you know, accepting that feminine energy, man. Let me tell you something. You got 100, if you got 100 pounds of energy, if everybody got 100 pounds of energy in their body, the more, like, if you if it's if it's 70, 30 or 80, 20, you know, they say we all have a little bit of testosterone, a little bit of estrogen or whatever. But if it's, let's say if it's 80, 20, testosterone 80, estrogen 20. At some point, you're going to be around these females, man, having that energy coming to you all the time, man, just dealing with Because the thing is, you relax around the women. When you're at home, you relax at home. So you're relaxed around this feminine energy, man. And I'm going to tell you, man, it'll take your joint, man, from being 80, 20, man, to being, you know, 60, 40, and it'll be on, this, on, on the other side. So, you know, the bottom line is, man, man, we as men have to keep in mind that you know, the shit that we think, you know, the shit that we see, the things that we actually want to believe that, 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 you know, that matter, man, this shit don't matter. I'm telling you, honestly, bro, nothing matters. Like, I'm in, I'm in a constant state of fuck the world mode. You understand? Literally. I'm in a constant state of fuck the world mode. Like, I'm just always in that mindset. And to be honest with you, all the men I know who are successful with successfully dominating women, man, they're in the same mindset. They're in the, see, see what it is, it's complete domination. It's complete and total domination. She has no control. Man, a woman, a woman has no control when she's dealing with me, bro. I don't get no control. And if she don't like it, she can get the fuck on, and I'm cool with that. See what I'm saying? Beast by 8-9, man. Appreciate the five dollars super chat. B say my cousin used to say never let a woman cuddle with you. I understand now. I didn't know it then. Yeah, man, that's real talk. Cuddling is friend zone shit, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't never had a woman that wanted to cuddle with me, man. After I break her back, she man, shit, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. For the for the majority of the time, you know, after I break her back, man, shit, man, she really can't even get up. She just lay there, man. That like they just pass right out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like literally. I break a chick back, man, and, and, and you know, shit, nigga, I get up, man, and, and go wash my nuts, man, and, 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 you know, and by the time I come back in, I'm talking to her while I'm in the bathroom, I come back in there, man, she out. Literally, I just went in the bathroom and stayed in there five minutes, man, she out like a light. I literally got to let her sit there and rest for a minute, man, and wake up and tell her, hey, shawty, go in there and get yourself right, man, you know what I'm saying, before you just, you know, lay here like this. Sometimes I just let her lay down, man, you know what I'm saying, it just depends. But man, I be putting bitches to sleep. That's why when they be they tell my they be talking, about, well, man, go to sleep as soon as they get a good nut. I be like, shit, nigga, I, I be up like a motherfucker. That's why, man, I don't, I don't like cutting bras late. You know what I'm saying? I cut a bra at one o'clock in the morning, man, or I be up to about three or four. Wired, adrenaline, just a big adrenaline rush. So you know, that's just the reality of the, uh, uh, of what we are dealing with out here, man. The bottom line is, man, you know, you know. The, the, the secret weapon and I call it a secret weapon man but it ain't really a secret weapon man it's a secret flaw the secret flaw pimps you successfully dominate women is an inability to give a fuck like this video on your way out if you enjoyed the content subscribe to the channel if you haven't already when you subscribe click that notification bell make sure your notifications are on 
so you can be alerted to when I upload some more of this real shit. And as always, Alpha's up, Beta's down. Peace.